Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Evan. Tonight we will be discussing the northerly direction or the earth element. As you can see here, I have several candles lit since the time of day where the northerly direction rains is nighttime and it is nighttime. As you can see here, I have a green unlit candle. Um, green represents earth, obviously, for the beautiful colors of the greens um, of the trees and grasses and all the plants, um, everything that grows from the earth. Um, some objects are drums, drums and cauldrons, such as this one here, symbolize the depth of the earth. Now, speaking of cauldrons, I'm going to quickly, quickly um, discuss cauldrons. Now, I'm pretty sure some people have heard several different things of cauldrons. Um, some people say that cauldrons are associated with the water element for the liquid that you place inside of the cauldron if you use cauldron for any liquids or oils. Um, some people say that the cauldron is associated with the southern or the fire element due to the flame that heats the cauldron. Some say that it is related to the easterly direction or the air element due to the smoke that arises from the cauldron. Or in my situation, I see the cauldron as the mother goddess's womb, the depth, the almighty. Um, some places that are associated with earth are caves, canyons, forests, valleys, um, parks, gardens, farms, and even mines. So I felt the cauldron fits best, um, my preference, in the um, northerly direction. Um, some basic rituals that are tied into the color green and the earth element in the north direction are rituals that involve money, prosperity, or fertility, and beauty. Also rituals that involve um, growth. Um, some stones, much like the water element, how they have stones associated, um, earth does as well. They usually, um, opaque and heavy stones are usually associated with the earth element. Here you will see that I have some amzonite. I am not 100% sure if this is associated with the earth element. That's all I have on hand, so work with what you got. Um, other rocks, minerals, and gems such as emerald and peridot are also associated. Um, just like all the other elements, some metals are also associated, such as iron and lead. And this is a little iron cauldron. One more peek through there. There's ashes. I've been burning loose incense in there. Um, and of course, creatures that are governed under this element are creatures that burn to the ground, like worms, um, gophers, and even animals that graze from the, from the land, like horses, cows, and deers. Um, creatures that really thrive and really, really depend on um, plants as part of a staple in their diet. Um, the season is winter, the time where all the plants are dying and it's making room for spring, for it to regrow, rebirth, things like that. Um, and the time, like I said, is night. And some of the astrological signs are Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. I might be doing more videos more in detail about the um, astrological signs of each element. I'm not sure yet. It just really depends. But also, just like water, there are types of magic other than just um, earth magic that are associated with this element. Um, other types of magic include herb magic, image magic, magnet magic, stone, tree, and knot magic, as well as bindings. And I will be demonstrating some bindings later. Um, no, don't worry. It's nothing negative. It does no harm to nobody. Um, but again, like I said, I'll be doing a video describing that in more detail. But really quickly, I'm just going to show you guys what I have on this tray in case you did not see my altar video and you're not familiar with what I have here. I have some sage. Um, this one is clearly not used yet. Um, this larger one is the one that I'm using. Um, I use this. I just bought a house. So when I moved in, I cleansed it with this beautiful bundle of white sage. It's very velvety, very, very fragrant. Make sure when you are using sage to keep it very well ventilated 
sage, when it gets to smoking, it gets a smoking. Also, these little herbs you see here, um, I have cedar chips and some patchouli. Um, I have some rose. Um, I have lavender. So, yeah, it's a little bit of everything. I have a little white candle here just for extra light. And it is on top of my focal point that's normally in the middle of my altar. So there you guys have it. Tomorrow morning I will be doing the air video. Um, the time of day for air is morning, so it will be morning time. Hopefully I can take the camera outside and show you guys the beautiful Colorado sunrise. But until then, I hope you guys have a lovely night. Um, light, love, and blessings to all, and I hope you see you guys again. Until then, take care.